Welcome to the new National Memorial Hall for Israel's Fallen Soldiers at Mount Herzl. A torch with the everlasting fire is burning day and night at the entrance to the Memorial Hall. The quote from Jeremiah encourages us to immortalize those who sacrifice their life for us. The mezuzah of the National Memorial Hall was originally placed at the gates of the Old City after 1967. The video art shows us the soldiers walking and running on the land they wished to live on, but sadly had to sacrifice their life for. The main part of the building is called the Bell of Light. At the bottom of the bell there is the famous quote of Isaiah that said they will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. The eternal hope for peace between all nations found its place in the National Memorial Hall. The names of the fallen soldiers are engraved on the Wall of Names. What is shocking and terrifying is the empty bricks. Sadly, Israelis know too well what is the price to live in an independent country. Every morning there is a religious memorial ceremony to commemorate those who fell on that day. More than 4,000 soldiers died in the War of Independence in 1948. All their names are engraved on the wall. Almost 800 soldiers lost their life in the Six-Day War and more than 2,600 during the Yom Kippur War. 650 soldiers during the First Lebanon War and more than 1,000 Israelis during the Second Intifada, 70% of them were civilians. 24,000 soldiers and more than 4,000 victims of terror attacks, this is the price and sacrifice Israel made in order to live as an independent state. After 2,000 years of exile and after the terrible Holocaust with 6 million victims, I think most Israelis would agree that on the national level it's a reasonable price to pay considering the alternatives. At the end of the Wall of Names you can light a virtual candle to commemorate one of the fallen soldiers.